Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Hope everyone is doing good. I'm here to keep you up to date with current market news and teachings. This is in no way, shape, or form investment or financial advice. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So with that being said, I'll go right ahead and jump into it. So here, what I'm kind of seeing that I want to share with you guys is basically this. So I've been seeing what I, in my opinion, think is an AI bubble going on because of all the hype that's going on in the market, right? Uh, like you've seen recently um, in news and everywhere on YouTube, you name it, social media, there's been um, this obsession with chat GPT. It's a powerful, um, powerful technology, right? Don't get me wrong. I think AI is going is an amazing technology and it's 100% going to change the world, but it currently seems to be uh, overhyped in terms of what it can potentially produce is yet unknown, right? I like to compare this technology to the equivalent of when computers first became public uh, for everyone to use, right? where you have a user interface where you can now see on a screen and interact with the computer and get um, output that you can see, right? And interact with. AI is definitely gonna change the world. I mean, automate things and it's a powerful, powerful technology that who knows what it's going to um, do in the future and how it's going to evolve, right? But I feel that it seems to be a potential uh, bubble because of the hype, right? And the reason why I'm saying this is because, for example, here we have a company that basically has AI as their ticker, ticker symbol, right? This company is C3AI. And here we're looking at their uh, financial results, right? To kind of get an idea, okay, are these AI companies actually doing great right are they making money are they profitable to kind of make sense to be a great investment right or is it worth what is currently selling for which i in my opinion disagree it seems like this is a wave right it, these bubbles tend to be waves um where who knows how big the wave can go when it comes crashing down, you do not want to be in that wave, right? That comes crashing down very fast. So here we're looking at their financial results, right? Over here on the right-hand side, you have 2022 all the way up to 2023, right? So nothing, I don't see any growth whatsoever in this company. Revenue has continuously dropped. Uh, gross profit has continuously dropped. You can see here from 134 million in 2022, all the way down to 40, no, yes, all the way down to 44 million currently. And the true earnings, I call them, net income, going down as well, not doing very good, right? 2022, $133 million net income loss. And you can kind of see here, they haven't made money. It's been consistent loss after consistent loss for 2023. Uh, as of now is a $203 million loss. So this company continues, losses continues to increase. So it seems like a money pit currently, right? They're not making any money. If anything, they're losing money like crazy. Um, what is that? It's a pretty big um, increase in loss right there from, from last year. So yeah, and uh, this company currently has a pretty crazy uh, valuation in terms of stock price, which has been very volatile recently because of the whole AI hype. And this company just so happens to have the ticker symbol AI, which makes it stand out more, right? So yeah, as you can see here, just their net income, they don't have net income. They have net loss, right? For 2020, 133 million. 2023, $203 million loss. Cash has, uh, cash and cash equivalent has grown a little bit, but it doesn't make um, 
any money, right? You can kind of see here this so called AI company is losing money. It's not making any money. Um, the reason why I kind of believe this is an AI bubble is because of it's affecting other industries as well, right? Not only just the all these um, speculative AI companies that are currently um, going through this wave where their stock price is going pretty crazy and there's a lot of volatility right there. Um, this is also in a way influencing the whole tech sector, right? It's influencing the semiconductors, is influencing, it seems like by uh, proxy is influencing cryptocurrencies, which is what might have caused the recent increases in, in um, all these different uh, assets, right? So here we're looking at Micron Technologies financial results, right? Micron is uh, one of the leading uh, companies in the semiconductor industry, and they specifically produce memory chips. Memory chips are used just in about everything, you name it, in all industries, uh, automobile, tech, you name it, they're used in every industry. And I'll kind of go into what I mean by this. So Micron is a perfect forward indicator as memory chips are used broadly in more, most end markets. Like I was saying, they're used in just about every industry these days. Your microwave have these things in them, you know, your phone, your car, you name it. Anything that has any kind of sort of a connection with technology has need for memory storage, right? And that's what Micron technology does. They produce memory chips. So what I mean by a leading economic indicator is a leading economic indicator is economic data that may correspond with future movements or change in the economy. So it can potentially give some sort of projection as to where um, the whole industry as a whole is going. And then my proxy, every industry that this industry has some sort of connection with, which is just about everything as I was mentioning. So here you can see Micron's financial results. Um, and I wanna point this out really quickly. Uh, revenue has from 2022 second quarter all the way to the current quarter of 2023, consistent decline. So they're not making as much revenue as they were doing before. You can kind of see here a consistent drop from uh, 2022, and I believe this is in millions, uh, $7,786,000,000 dollar revenue. And then current order is uh, $3,693,000,000 dollar revenue. And this is the interesting part. They went from actually making money to currently losing money. So on 2022, they had a $2,263,000,000 um, net income. They made that amount of money. And for the most recent quarter, they lost $2,312,000,000. So this gives you an idea the memory chip market is not doing very well currently. And if the memory chip uh, market is not doing very well, that could potentially project that all industries with connections to this industry might potentially do so as well in the future, right? Uh, that's kind of what I'm getting to. Uh, and it's just not Micron, um, which I'll share with you in a second. Let me swap over here. NVIDIA. I'm sure everyone's familiar with this company. Um, amazing company, I think. They're, uh, they're part of many industries, such as the gaming industry, even the crypto um, cryptocurrency market, because they supply... GPUs that are used for mining purposes, mining Bitcoin and all these uh, other um, altcoins or whatever you call them that are mined. They basically, uh, NVIDIA sells GPUs to people that want to mine Bitcoin. So in that form, it has a connection to the crypto market because the equipment that is used to mine Bitcoin is... Um, 
sold by NVIDIA, AMD, um, and so forth, right? And NVIDIA is a big semiconductor uh, company. They're basically the world, uh, one of the world leaders in the semiconductor market, specifically here in the U.S. I believe they're the U.S. leader in the world in the semiconductor industry. Uh, so here we have uh, their financials as well. We got the 12 months ended January 29, 2023. And then uh, we have uh, January 30, 2022. Uh, so I basically just mapped it out here with an arrow. Net income has dropped by 50% from 2022. Yet the stock is close to hitting its um, all-time high and is up like crazy um, in a span of just a couple of months. And again, this is why I point out the AI bubble because it's influencing the semiconductor market and, and it seems to be influencing the crypto market as well. And then this is just my opinion in terms of uh, doing research and so forth. But here I'm trying to share with you that these companies are not exactly doing great for their valuations. As you can see here, NVIDIA, amazing company, in my opinion. Uh, they are an amazing company, but the current valuation doesn't make any sense with their financial um, health, right? You can see here, as I point out to me, net income is true income is down uh, uh, basically 50% from last year, from $9,752,000,000 down to $8,368,000,000. So let me see here. Yeah, you can kind of see here net income is down year over year 53%. So this... Uh, I mean, I they're a great company, but they're not doing great financially. They're not growing right now. They're losing money. It's all hype, I believe. And it's uh, all the hype behind this AI stuff, which again, I believe is an amazing uh, technology and that it's going to have so much potential in the future. But it's uh, creating this sort of bubble environment that might potentially lead to some pain if it does pop, right? So let me just go back over here. And um, one thing that I missed about Micron is that they've had that, that stood out to me as well, right? Uh, let me see if I find it, inventories. So inventories is basically what a company produces and sells and so forth. In this case, I would um, speculate that majority of this inventory are memory chips, right? Considering that's what Micron technology produces and sells, right? memory chips. So here you can see a huge write down in inventory from uh, just last year. Uh, last year inventory write down was nine, 900 million for March uh, 3rd, 2022 and March 2nd, 2023. Inventory write down is $2,896. Uh, that's a huge uh, jump in, in loss of inventory. And what that means is basically this, and inventory write down is the required process used to reflect when a when an inventory losses value and its market value drops below its book value. The write down impacts the balance and income statement of a company and ultimately affects the business net income and retain earnings. So it seems that their inventory is losing value. Uh, that's something else to kind of look at and and um, pay attention to because it seems to be increasing. How do you go from on? Um, you can kind of see a negative downtrend here is what I'm trying to say. O on the chart side of things, this is the C3 AI company I was telling you about. They have it. In the, in the stock market, sometimes it benefits you to have a cool ticker symbol and they have basically AI as their ticker symbol, right? So speculators tend to love this kind of stuff. 
Um, but I was sharing with you fundamentally and financially, they're losing a ton of money. They don't produce any money whatsoever. And they IPO'd uh, back in December 2020. That was their initial public offering dates, uh, somewhere around this range. And they just, it, the stock went ballistic all the way up to 155 bucks to a low of uh, recent, just as recent as January 2023 of like 10 bucks and has recently just gone ballistic. Uh, it's going for like $29 right now. So it's gone up almost, you know, it's gone up 168% in a period of, I don't know, a month, two months with no profits. They make no money. And that's what I was trying to point out. They make no money. They lose a ton of money. But this is the AI hype, right? This is the hype um, that the AI is causing in a market. And lucky for this company, their ticker symbol is AI. But this is also influencing a lot of other um, companies, not just AI and AI-involved companies. But, of course, Semiconductor, in a way, is involved in AI. They produce the chips that are used for the AI. So, of course, they're um, connected in some way. But this is NVIDIA. I shared with you their uh, financial results. Their net income has consistently declined quarter over quarter. Yet since October's uh, bottom, this thing has gone ballistic, is up 136% when they're losing uh, money instead of uh, making money. I don't understand the projection that is um, that is projecting forward, that is uh, kind of um, making these valuations even reasonable because if you're buying nvidia which again i believe is an amazing company but not at this valuation you're paying 113 times earnings that means you're paying 113 times what the company earns to own the stock of this company which is absolutely um ridiculous to me and i personally believe this is a freaking huge uh bubble going on right now this is a Micron Technologies, which I just showed you lost $2 billion recently in their at, in net income. Their stock price actually went up after earnings. That's how irrational the market can be. It makes absolutely no sense sometimes. They announced one of their biggest losses, if not their biggest loss in history, and the stock price went up. I don't know what that means for the future, but that is... Uh, interesting to say the least right market makes absolutely no sense sometimes um so yeah with that being said i'll leave you guys uh with a quote a highly favorable purchase is very likely to seem odd uncomfortable risky dull or obscure at the time you buy it perpetuous reactions are that dog or i can't see it doing anything for the next six months. Later, everybody gets the idea and feels comfortable or enthusiastic about it. Then it is too late. And I have a teaching in terms of a strategy, right? And this strategy um, is called the crack spread, which is basically there are two major areas in which basic commodities are traded as well as two of its products, right? For example, in this case, crude oil has um, two products that are produced based off of it, right? Unleaded gasoline and heating oil. Another example would be soybean, right? Soybeans, um, two products are soybean oil and soybean meal. So basically a crack spread involves trading all three the base commodity and both byproducts. So for example, let's say hypothetically um, in the future markets, that would equate to going long crude oil contracts and going short unled gasoline and heating oil contacts, contracts. That is what they call a uh, crack spread strategy. Absolutely, extremely um, risky because this tends to involve, involve uh, derivatives. So, but 
it's a, it's, I like learning all these different strategies. Um, I find them very interesting and in how many of them they are. Right. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, um, I want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope I shared some uh, valuable and interesting information with you today, and I'll talk to you guys soon.